be good for me Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose Thousand dollar payments guys Here's the thing about it You probably clicked on this video because you most likely were like Okay cool this guy's gonna show me some new program This guy's gonna teach me something And honestly the whole idea of this new uh, series of what I've been doing recently is just giving you straight facts, right? When I call it the affiliate marketing life, I'm, get, I'm calling it that for a reason. It's most likely you're catching the, you know, the first few videos ever. It's just me not holding back and me giving you the, my honest two cents about what I've been seeing in the industry since 2016. And it's ridiculous. Most of you are clicking on this link because either you think I'm going to show you some new secret hack or some crazy new program. And it's stupid, man. All the programs are pretty much the same out there. And the crazy thing about the affiliate marketing life right now is that a new program is dropping like every few days. It's like unbelievable how many things that you can be an affiliate for, right? Even now, Walmart is becoming a, a you can have an affiliate of Walmart. And there's other things that are, you can become an affiliate of. And it's crazy. And the reason why I say it's crazy is because you guys are still continuing to be a consumer and not a producer. And what do I mean by that is that talk to an affiliate, any affiliate marketer out there and they probably got about 20 or 30 different programs. Now, don't get me wrong. I have a few different programs too. I'm not saying that you can't do that and you can't juggle it, but you need to be perfecting your skills more than the new opportunity. And a lot of you don't. So um, a lot of you, you, you've been following me. You already know I've been promoting the multiple income funnel and all that good stuff. Well, guess what? I went back to the Exodus and I started hitting the leaderboards. How did I do that? Why? Because all it was was I was still perfecting my skills the whole time. Because when you have the right skills, you can promote anything. It does not matter. So I don't know if you want to do traffic. I don't know if you want to do Facebook. I don't know what you want to do. What you need to decide is take the offer, right? Something that you really stand behind and then figure out what's the best way to promote it and only focus on that one thing of promoting it until you make money. Do you know how many people like I'll get into a program and no more than like a week will go by and they'll sit there and say, oh, Justin, you should be jumping in on this program with me. And I'm like, <laughs> you haven't even made any money in the program that I offered you. Why would I do that? Like, like and I'm not trying to be rude. Some people like y'all bring me your programs and everything and that's cool. But here's my thing. You know, you got to look at the way I'm looking at it. I'm making money in a program. I get you involved. You make no money. And now you come to me talking about here's a new program. Does that make sense to you? It doesn't make any sense, but that's the problem. Everybody wants to jump to the newest thing. They want to catch the trends. They want to catch the wave. They want to just do something. They think they got to stay ahead of the game. You're not staying ahead of nothing. Don't get me wrong. Like trends are good. Like, hey, I really wish I would have jumped on the whole Bitcoin thing right back in the day. Right. So I understand to respect the trends, but why don't you start making money in something? Because if you make money in something, then you can build it and you can you can justify everything that you're doing. Otherwise, some of you are in like 20 different programs and you're making no money in none of them. And this is a classic case for most people. I've been there before too, right? I had shiny ball syndrome, okay? But not only that, it wasn't even about shiny ball syndrome. Sometimes it was, but sometimes it was just like, hey, I'm gonna catch this trend. And if I get in early enough, then you know what I mean? I can explode, but here's the thing. I went back to Exodus. Exodus has been around and I hit number one in the leaderboards. How is that? Because I've always perfected on my skills. So first and foremost, what you really need to do is you need to like write down all your programs and get behind one, preferably one right now, maybe even two, that you really feel comfortable in, that you feel confident about and that you love. From there, you need to decide on what you're going to actually do to promote it. Some of you sit there and say, well, I don't want to be on Facebook all, all day. Okay, cool. You don't want to be on Facebook all day. What are you going to do to promote it? You know what I mean? And then you guys don't have an answer for that. And it, that amazes me. Like, that's scary, right? Well, I mean, do you want to do paid advertising? Oh, uh, no, nah, I want to do free methods. Okay, cool. You're going to do videos. You're going to get on YouTube. Are you going to get on Instagram? You're going to get on Facebook. I mean, what's the choice? You know what I mean? But like, but some of you, you just want to take the easy way. No, nah, I, just, I, just, I just want the easy way. I don't want to spend no money, but I don't want to do nothing. Like, do you know how many people sit there and ask me for information about thousand dollar days? And then when they get inside of Exodus, they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, what did you expect? What do you think it was going to be? Like for me, I started telling people, you know how I started hitting leaderboards? Very simple. I spent about 90 minutes on Facebook and I buy traffic. That's my method. Now, if you don't want to do that method, I can certainly understand. Don't join me. But if you want to know how did I do it, I did it like that.
right? However, most people get in and they're like, oh yeah, I want those $1,000 days, but they don't want to put in the work. They definitely don't want to pump up the money, which is stupid. You either got to be all in or you're going to be all out, right? Like you can't like half ass it, right? And I don't even care if you want to get in at the $100 level. It's not about that. If you get in at the $100 level, because that's all you can afford. Well, okay, cool. Put in the work, back it up with the work. You got to be, you got to become resourceful, man. So it's either you got to go get the money or you got to go ahead and put in the work and start really taking this seriously. And most people that put in the work and do the work, guess what? They're seeing success. I had a lady named Deanna. She made $1,500 in three days. We ain't playing around here, man. But you got to really want to do the work. That's my daughter in the background. That's what happens when you start making videos. But it doesn't even matter because I'm still going. So here, here we go, man. $1,000 days. You need to decide. Stop trying to catch the wind. I mean, the trends and start really perfecting your skills, man. Really know what you want to do. So drop down the number one program that you are in and what you really like about it, everything. There's something that you can put your stamp on that you got to get behind and that you feel confident about doing. Then you really need to dive in and start thinking about how are you going to market it? Because I'm telling you time and time again, it doesn't matter what you promote. If you know how to promote something, if you know how to market your skills, AKA, right? And you're willing to do the work, the actual work, then it doesn't matter. So then the second or the third thing that you need to do, right? Once you figure out which way, which method you're going to choose to market, third thing you need to do is work on you. My last piece of advice that I want to give you for jumping on this video, okay? Work on you harder than your business. Now, I know Jim Rohn said that a long time ago, but I'm leaning more towards that way. And that's what these videos are going to be coming about is because I think that's what you affiliate marketers need more than anything. Half of you affiliate marketers, you get the courses, you get the books, you jump on the new programs, you're trying to catch the trends, yet you still don't have no money. You still don't have no success. And you sit there and you wonder why, what's going on? Okay, maybe it's because I didn't get the right program. Maybe it's because this guy scammed me. Maybe because I need to go with Justin. Maybe I need to watch more YouTube videos. It's none of that bullshit. Like, that's all bullshit. That's a fallacy, man. And that's just the lie that you're telling yourself because you don't want to put in the work and change you. You're still living in that employee mindset where you think, man, I did an hour on Facebook today. I should be getting paid. It doesn't work like that. We should already know that by now. And if you really thought that the laptop lifestyle was just you sitting at a beach pressing buttons, somebody sold you a pipe dream. OK, now, can it be like that? Yes. But you got to put systems in place. And most of you have no idea what systems are. And it doesn't matter. Most of you are getting in affiliate marketing because you want to make some quick money. Yet, hey, guess what? Money doesn't fall from the sky, right? So you have to put in the work. But now you got in the game. You said, oh, okay, I'm going to roll with Justin on this thousand dollar deal. Next thing you know, you bought 20 different other programs and you're sitting there still broke as hell. Whoops. <laughs> it's dropped over my light. And I'm not a good editor on videos. So it is what it is. But anyways. So guys, what I'm trying to say is this, man. What you need to do is you need to start figuring out what you really, really want to market Two, how you're going to market it, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, whatever, pick one thing for right now and put your all into it. Three, work harder on yourself than you do anything else because nothing is going to succeed your identity, right? If you feel like you're just this thousand dollar a month guy, that's all you're going to be. It doesn't matter what program you are. But if you say, hey, Justin, you know what? I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to grow. I'm willing to do something. And I know I can be that $5,000 a month guy. I'll show you. It's pretty simple. But you have to be the one to put us in the work. And you got to divorce the outcome, man. It's about the processes. It's not about the outcome, right? And I know people say that all the time, but it's such a true story. Why do you think all these people are telling you this, right? So many times, like these greats are passing down good information and it goes one ear and not the other because we're like, oh, that's bullshit. That's just a quote. No, nah, it's a quote for a reason. It's a quote that's being said for a long time now. It's up to you to take that quote and to run with it. So fall in love with the process and divorce the outcome. Do the 90 minutes a day on Facebook, buy your traffic, email your list, and that's all you have to do. And you can start enjoying the life too. But anyways, more than anything, don't just jump on these stupid videos. Like when I make this video, don't just click it because you were like, oh, what's this new program that's going out? Nah, perfect you, man. Start making some damn money already. Let's go.